It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, December 15th. I'm James Spann. Uh, we have a chance of rain tomorrow night. Much colder this weekend and next week. Maybe some active storms before Christmas. Let's check things out today. What a beautiful day. A dry air mass all across the deep south. But got a big upper low lifting out of Colorado that produced a big snow in Denver today. And that will bring rain to Alabama tomorrow night. Temperatures well up in the 60s. Upper 60s for Tuscaloosa and Anniston. And again, out west, you can see much colder with snow falling across the Rockies. They're below freezing at midday, and we'll catch that colder air by Friday and the weekend. So cold air fans, you'll have a crack at a window of colder weather in the days ahead. Winter storm warnings in effect from Denver up into parts of North Dakota. Uh, they've been slammed, some of the mountainous areas, with over two feet of snow today. And if you're looking for a white Christmas, that's what we recommend. Head west Convective outlook. This is tomorrow, day two. There is a marginal severe weather risk for the Gulf Coast region, New Orleans, Biloxi, Mobile, Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Panama City Beach. Uh, that extends up into southwest Alabama, uh, places like Jackson, Evergreen, Atmore, Andalusia involved in that. And up this way, there could be some thunder tomorrow night, but no severe weather expected. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning. Amounts about one half inch over northwest Alabama. Amounts over one inch possible as you work your way down to the southeast. And, of course, most of all, all of that will be tomorrow night and early Thursday morning. Let's walk you through the dailies all the way through Christmas Day. This is tomorrow at noon. You can see the big western trough lifting out down below that. The surface low is way north of here over Minnesota. Snow continues back in the cold sector. There's a trailing front down through Memphis and Houston. A narrow band of showers in advance of that. And during the day, clouds will gradually increase. We should start the day with sunshine becoming cloudy by late afternoon. The high in the upper 60s. This is tomorrow night at midnight. You can see that rain should be falling over most of the state. And again, there could be some thunder, but uh, don't think we have any severe weather because of this. There's no surface-based instability. And even down in South Alabama, it's quite limited. So a marginal risk well to the south up here. Just rain, maybe some thunder. The rain will be ending early Thursday morning. This is midday Thursday. And the weather begins to turn cooler. The high will be closer to 60 on Thursday. And then Friday, a 1031 high digs down into South Texas, and Friday will be a breezy and cool day. Uh, we'll start the day in the mid-30s. The high Friday only in the lower 50s, and a pretty good north wind is going to make it feel colder. Saturday, the morning should be pretty cold. We're expecting lows down in the uh, low 30s with a surface high right on top of us. The day will be sunny with a high only in the lower 50s. And Sunday morning will be cold. The many spots will be in the 20s to start the day. We'll warm up into the upper 50s Sunday afternoon. The sky will be sunny. So it will feel like Christmas for you cold weather fans this weekend. But next week, the warmth begins to come back. This is Monday. We head up back in the 60s. We might see an afternoon shower as moisture starts to increase. And this is Tuesday. We got troughing to the west. Upper heights well above average over the northeast, and we are in a very soupy air mass. So Tuesday looks like a cloudy day with occasional showers, maybe a thunderstorm. No severe weather. Uh, the surface low with the trough is way to the west. Now, this is Wednesday, December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve. This could be a fairly active day, and this is a pretty big travel day. Uh, again, we've got a surface low that's north of St. Louis and a very soupy air mass in place. Uh, look at the instabilities on Wednesday the 23rd, and you can see there is unstable air, in fact, all the way up to near Chicago. Uh, and There could be uh, severe weather problems for Louisiana, Mississippi, maybe parts of Alabama, up into Tennessee. And obviously, a week in advance, we can't define the risk, but this certainly suggests the day will be mild, wet, and stormy for Alabama and much of the Gulf Coast region. This is Christmas Eve. Thursday, December 24th, we're still wet. The surface low is over Michigan. Showers and storms still around. And again, the instability values are in excess of 1,000 joules per kilogram, surface-based cape. And that would suggest maybe a chance of strong storms. So uh, right before Christmas, the weather looking rather unsettled, potentially stormy. Remains to be seen if we have a severe weather threat, but it's certainly not out of the question. Christmas Day, December 25th, Friday of next week. Troughing passing north of the state, and we are in a dry air mass. Cooler, but again, not too cold uh, for this time of the year. And if you take the anomalies here off this run, 
Our numbers would be very close to average if this is right. Highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s, but the ensembles are a little warmer. Uh, this is the main of all the ensemble members. Uh, and again, you can see pretty mild or warm for the eastern third of the country. Cold air in the western states for Christmas Day. So if you're looking for snow, head west. This is the projected snow cover, the snow depth Christmas morning. And uh, around here, obviously it's not happening. And of course, in any year, our chance of a white Christmas is less than 1%. But in an El Nino year, there's pretty much no hope. So again, head north and west. Temperatures off the ensembles. There's a cool down for the weekend. This is suggesting we might stay in the 40s all day Friday. Lows down around freezing Saturday and Sunday morning. But next week, the warmth comes back as the uh, moisture comes back. And again, potential, if this is right, of low 70s Christmas Day. And then we back off a little bit. But again, no sign of any brutally colder anytime soon in this pattern. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.